American university officials said they will not change any of its policies that protect transgender students. Earlier this week, the Trump administration revoked the Obama administration's guidelines that allow transgender students to use the bathroom of their gender with what they ident identify with. Quincy Tickner has more. The Center for Diversity and Inclusion at American University is denouncing the Trump administration's withdrawal. The center is still devoted to protect transgender students and make them feel safe. I think at AU we have to realize that um, we will not be changing any policies around protections around gender identity or expression and so here at AU probably not a lot may change. I know here at the center we will continue supporting trans students and all across campus um, so the support will not change, the policies won't change um, here at AU but um, I think reiterating that to students, faculty and staff would be really important. We have a variety of gender inclusive restrooms across campus. I think down the line we would like to see an increase of multi-user gen uh, gender inclusive restrooms. There are a few in some of the residence halls. Many students at AU are showing solidarity and support for transgender students after the actions from the Trump administration. I think it's important that since American is an all-inclusive university and uh, they strive to make everyone feel equal that it's important that we have gender neutral bathrooms because I think that's one of the reasons that students of the LGBTQA community come here is because we are so inclusive. Gender neutral bathrooms are something that's important for AU because it gives people <laughs> the idea that we support them and they're not excluded from our community. With District Wire News, this is Quincy Tickner. Suburbs around D.C. are becoming more diverse. A recent study ranked four towns among the most diverse in the country. Nick Papadis reports from Rockville. Rockville, Maryland is one of the most diverse cities in the country. Rockville is one of four D.C. suburbs in Montgomery County ranked in the top ten out of over 500 cities in America. The Wallet Hub report says Jersey City is the most culturally diverse in the nation. Just behind neighboring Germantown, Gaithersburg, and Silver Spring, Rockville ranked ninth place in diversity. The town of over 60,000 has a long history of diversity dating back to shortly after the Civil War. Rockville Mayor Bridget Donald Newton says the town is continuing to diversify. We welcome the diversity. Uh, we are a very um, ecumenical community, a uh, very friendly community. I've lived here since 1981 and uh, it speaks for itself in how welcoming the neighborhoods are to diverse populations, different cultures. Growth in large businesses and educational opportunities have helped increase diversity in the Rockville area. So um, I think it speaks to the opportunities that are in this region, especially in Rockville, the education that we afford. Um, we have Montgomery College, we have universities of Shady Grove that feed into or not into um, University of Maryland and the other universities around. Montgomery County residents believe that increasing diversity in the area is beneficial to their neighborhoods. But I think that it's a great trend because we have people from all over the world wanting to live and work in the D.C. area and considering the political tone that this country is currently experiencing, I think that this area can showcase that people with diverse, of diverse backgrounds and beliefs can come together, live together and work together and ultimately succeed. From Rockville, Nick Papadis, District Wire News. A new study released by Imperial College London and the World Health Organization say that although life expectancy in the United States is at a record high, it still trails far behind other developing nations. The current life expectancy for American men is 79 and a half years old, while life expectancy for women is 83 and one third years. The U.S. life expectancy is trailing countries such as Monaco, Japan, and South Korea. Researchers are expecting the life, ex life expectancy of Americans to fall further behind other countries because of America's high rate of homicide, body mass index, and lack of universal health coverage. A new study finds that shooters are quicker to pull a trigger when, when the shooting target is black. A group of studies pulled together by the University of Illinois finds that people were more trigger happy when the target was black. The research comes at a time when law enforcement officers are facing increased scrutiny over their treatment of minority groups. The knowledge of such biases may help officers make more informed split-second decisions. Residents in Northeast Washington are worried they will lose their homes because of a development project. 
People say the redevelopment of Brooklyn Manor, an 88-year-old apartment complex, will displace families who will be hard-pressed to find affordable housing. But local officials say the new development will not affect residents who will be allowed to stay in their homes. Across the nation, high demands and low supply have increased the cost of housing, making affordable options a rare find. Warm weather is taking over D.C. this week with temperatures reaching the 70s. More coming up after the break. <laughs> 